GCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 227, the stages of the digestion of food. And we begin, stage one is ingestion, the location is the mouth. And part of this process is the functioning of the teeth and of salivary glands. Now the teeth carry out the chewing process which technically in biology is known as mastication which is chewing and this creates a ball of food for swallowing which is known as the bolus. The salivary glands add mucus for lubrication And they also add um, the enzyme salivary amylase, which begins to digest the starch into maltose. The stage known as digestion, the location is the small intestine. And to a lesser extent, the stomach. And this is the stage in which the insoluble uh, food particles are digested to become soluble. And this is achieved with enzymes. So in the small intestine, we have the addition of the pancreatic enzymes and in the stomach we have some of the proteases added. So insoluble food becomes soluble. Absorption is a function of the small intestine. And in the small intestine there are structures such as the villi and the microvilli which line the small intestine and these will absorb food the uh, soluble food here will be absorbed into blood vessels which run through these structures so they absorb from the gut into the blood assimilation is the process which occurs in the tissues and organs and assimilation is when the digested food now in the blood diffuses into the cells for use possibly some act of transport involved also so assimilation is when the molecules which have been absorbed into the bloodstream then pass into the cells to be used. Egestion is a process which occurs in the rectum, anus of the large intestine And what happens here is that we have the removal of undigested material from the alimentary canal. And this is known as egestion, passing of solid wastes. 